and then we'll get started. Oh wait, I just muted myself. No, you're on. Right. There. Okay, you guys are muted. Okay. So we're going to start laying down on the back today, like we always do. And we're going to use a strap in a bit. Oh, so let's take a moment to come into a comfortable position on the floor on your back. And we're just going to take a few moments here to just kind of decompress. So we were talking before class about the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday and people are feeling a little stressed about not only the decisions that we're making for ourselves, but unfortunately in situations like this, other people's decisions can affect us. So that's something that's kind of hard to deal with because we can take care of ourselves, we can control our own thoughts, and our feelings, but when other people make decisions that are different than what we would make, and those decisions are going to affect us, possibly negatively, it is it can be stressful, and it's, it's hard to deal with. So again, we need to remember that we can control our own thoughts, and we are in control. So if something is going to negatively affect us, we have the choice to make decisions to protect ourselves. So just thinking about what it is right now that is causing you stress. What is it? What thoughts are you having? that are making you feel stressed. And just check in, what are those thoughts? What are the feelings? And remember that feelings are just vibrations in the body. So where in the body are you feeling those feelings of stress? What does it feel like? And then let's just take a few really nice deep breaths here to process those feelings and lessen the intensity. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling out of the mouth. So we are meant as humans to feel good feelings and bad feelings. So when you feel bad feelings, nothing has gone wrong. It's okay. You just need to process those feelings to take away the intensity, to make it a little bit easier to handle. And then go back for a moment to those thoughts that were causing the stress. Can you change the thoughts? So changing the thoughts to create different emotions and different feelings. And then again, noticing in the body what you feel and then just breathe. So we're going to use the next hour or so on our mats to process whatever it is that we're feeling by consciously breathing. And then keeping the chatter in the mind a little bit more quiet by focusing on how the body is moving with your breath. So let's hug the knees into the chest. <clears throat> and just rock left to right a little bit. And just notice what you're feeling physically in the body, what you feel in the back and the shoulders. 
And then as you move your body with your breath, try to keep the eyes closed and keep your mind focused on how the body feels as it moves. So take a full breath in, reach the arms up overhead and reach the feet up towards the ceiling. Notice what you feel, any tightness in the shoulders or the backs of the legs, that's fine. And then use your next exhale to hug the knees into the chest, to let go, to get a little release. Inhale, arms reach, feet lift. Exhale, hug the knees in. Three more, just like that, nice and slow. Inhale, and exhale. Inhaling, letting the body float and move with the breath, and exhaling. Last one like that. Inhale, arms reach, feet lift. And exhale, hug the knees in. We're gonna let the feet come down to the floor. We're gonna reach for the strap. So if you have a yoga strap that's in a loop, <clears throat> you're gonna place your right foot in the loop. And the strap will go around your back, at the upper back, underneath your shoulder blades. And if you're just holding on to the strap, try to notice your grip. You don't want to be gripping like crazy and be tight in your shoulders. So if you're holding on, relax the shoulders, relax your arms, and try to have a soft grip. Maybe your upper arms are even down on the floor. We're going to let the left leg go straight. Relax the arms, relax the back. Begin to feel your hamstrings. A little tight in the back of the leg. Close the eyes. Notice exactly in the body what you're feeling. So it could be physical in the back of the leg, you're feeling some tightness. If you're still feeling a little anxious, anxious or stressed, feel in the body where you're feeling that, whether it's around the chest or in the belly, just notice where you're feeling, what you're feeling. And then just consciously breathe, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth. Completely relaxing the face. Neck and shoulders relaxed. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's soften that right knee. And you're just gonna reach the right foot over to the right. You don't have to go too far. Lengthen through the inner thigh and the outer hip. Round down through the left side of the body. And then just breathe with ease. So putting our bodies into these different shapes is half of the practice, not even half. The breath, noticing your breathing, keeping the breath deep and even, that's where you're gonna receive all the benefits from your practice by connecting your awareness to your breath as well as the body. Take one more full breath in here and then as you exhale, soften the knee and then just let your right leg go over to the left. That's the IT band, that can be super tight, so ease in. Just allow yourself to breathe deeply. So you don't have to find the deepest expression of the pose right away. 
you can slowly ease into it. So maybe the knee starts off bent, then maybe you start to straighten. Breathing with ease. Keeping the eyes closed if you can. Take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, we're going to bring that right leg back to center. Left knee is going to bend and you're going to come into a figure four. So let your right foot come out of the strap. Right ankle crosses over the left leg and you're just going to draw your left knee in towards your left shoulder. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Focusing on your breath here. Noticing in the body where you feel this, maybe the outside of the right hip, your seat, maybe whatever emotions this pose brings up. The hips are very connected to stress and anxiety. So if any of those feelings you start to recognize, then just breathe through. Inhaling to feel what you feel and exhale to soften and let go. Take a full deep breath in and a full deep breath out. We're going to release the legs here. You're going to let your left foot come down to the floor. The right thigh is going to cross over the left thigh. We're going to scoot the hips over to the right. Arms reach away from each other. You can shift your left foot over to the right and then just let your legs drop down. So they don't have to go too far. You can keep your face looking straight up towards the ceiling. This is just an easy twist here, so you don't have to go too deep. If it's too deep, then you can uncross the legs. And if you want to go deeper, you can slide your left foot over to the left. So the left foot moving to the left will go deeper. Left foot moving to the right will go a little less deep. Arms are open to the sides. Staying open through the chest. Breathing deeply. Again, inhaling through the nose. And exhaling out of the mouth. a deep full breath in and then as you exhale we're going to bring the legs back to center uncross them feet are even on the floor hug the knees into the chest three breaths here inhale arms reach feet lift exhale hug the knees into the chest inhale arms reach feet lift Exhale, hug it in. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms reach up and back, feet lift up. And then exhale, hug it in. We're gonna let both feet drop down and then you're gonna take the left foot into the strap. Relaxing the upper body, letting your right leg go straight on the floor if you can. Remembering the left leg does not need to be straight. You can have a bend in the knee. 
Try to keep the eyes closed. We're just breathing here. Noticing what you're feeling. Noticing where in the body you're feeling. I know for me, when I feel stressed, I feel like there's a brick on my chest. And it's hard to take full breaths. So if I'm noticing that I am feeling a little stressed, I direct my awareness to my breath and to that area of the chest. And really let go as you breathe. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, let's soften the knee. We're gonna let the left foot reach over to the left. Don't have to go too far. Leg does not have to go straight. So just pausing here. Reaching your heel away from the hip. Opening the inner thigh, the inside of the hamstring. Relaxing through the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, soften the left knee. We're gonna let the left foot go over to the right. Straighten the leg if you can. If you can't, no worries. Keeping the bend in the knee. Try to keep the left side of your low back down, left shoulder down. So when we come into a pose that's extra tight, it's a little bit harder to breathe and let go and relax. That's okay. We can do hard. We just work a little harder. So noticing your breath, breathing in, and breathing out. Finding softness where there was tightness. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, let's bring that left foot back to center. Bend the right knee. Left foot comes across onto the right leg above the knee for a figure four. We'll reach for the back of the right thigh. Tilt the shape of the legs to the right and draw the right knee into your right shoulder. Hip openers are big mood lifters. We carry a lot of tension emotionally in the hip area. So when we can do these hip openers and really focus on what it is that you're feeling and breathe, you can feel so much better. Thinking that we have control over our feelings is super powerful. Often people who don't have an awareness of their thoughts and feelings and of how powerful their breath is, who don't practice yoga, walk around sometimes just feeling super anxious and super stressed and not feeling that they can do anything about it. But we can. 
we can take the time to process what it is we're feeling, change our thoughts that will create different feelings, which will encourage us to have more positive actions and be in control of that cycle. Very empowering. Take one more full breath in. And then as you exhale, let's release. The right foot comes down, the left foot comes down. Just pause for a moment. And then we'll cross the left thigh over the right. Hip scoot over to the left. Okay, so before you drop your legs over to the right, you can keep your right foot exactly where it is. If you know that you don't wanna go so deep, slide your right foot over to the left. Then drop the legs down. It's a little bit less of a twist and more of a spine opening. If you want to go deeper, you can move your foot over to the right side of your mat and then notice how much further over your legs go. So much deeper in the spine. So your right foot is the lever of control here. You can decide. Try to feel length in the spine, open through the rib cage and chest. And then able to breathe. Relaxing through the face. Staying relaxed through the neck and shoulders and chest. Feel the rise and fall of the belly as you breathe. Let go of any tightness or tension that you feel in the low back and the hip. We'll take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly make your way back to center with the legs uncross the legs, hug the knees into the chest, rock left to right. And then you can either rock front to back and rock yourself up to sit, or you can roll to one side and press yourself up to sit. And we're gonna come right on to hands and knees. Feel free to put a blanket under your knees if you need a little extra support. So we're gonna have the knees be parallel. Feet are big toes touch. Hips sink down towards your heels. And coming into a child's pose here. So let your arms reach out, palms are down, forehead is down. If your forehead does not touch the floor, then you can put something underneath your forehead. Anything you have, a block, a rolled up blanket, your stacked fists. You want your head to feel grounded down so you can release the tension in the back of the neck and the upper shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades melting down the back. From here, you're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna thread it underneath the left. You're gonna turn your head to the left and let the right side of your head come down, the right shoulder come down. You can tent your left fingertips. Relax both shoulders down. Take a breath in and a breath out, switching sides. So slowly come up, right hand comes back out in front, left hand threads underneath the right. Let the left side of your head come down. Relax the shoulders, let them come down away from the ears. Take 
Breathe deeply into your back. Feeling a release underneath your left shoulder blade. Take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, let's come up onto hands and knees. So on hands and knees, we're gonna take the toes and curl them under. Take a deep breath in, drop your belly and lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the chin, round the back, tops of the feet, press down. Inhale, curl the toes under, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck and round. One more time, just like that. Inhale, curl the toes under. Open up through the chest. And then exhale, tuck the chin, open up through the middle of the back. And then we'll come back to neutral here. So neutral spine, we're gonna take the left foot back, toes are down, right, foot fo uh, right hand forward, not your right foot forward, your right hand forward. Your upper arm is by your ear, and then just lower the arm a little bit. Lifting the left foot a little bit. We're not going all the way up to hip height. That's taking a little bit of strain off of the low back and a little bit more energy into the core to have your leg a little lower. So pause here and breathe. Finding strength through the core, also in the muscles in the back. Finding some balance, take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, the right hand comes down, left toes come down behind you. Pivot your right foot to the right, roll to the arch of your left foot left hand reaches to the ceiling. If you need to modify, you can come down onto your left forearm. If you have a block, let your forearm come onto the block so that your hip stay aligned, you're not sinking down in the shoulder. If you'd like to lift your leg here, you can, your left leg. If you'd like to come into side plank, you can. You can scoot your right foot under the left or you can cross your right ankle in front of the left ankle. Pause here and breathe. Hips are lifted. <sighs> Belly is strong. Beautiful. Take one more full breath in. As you exhale, come on down. Left hand comes down, both knees come down. This time you're taking your knees wide. Mat width apart, big toes touch. Hips sink down. Arms reach way out in front, forehead drops down. If you want to relax more, then let your elbows and forearms come down. If you want to get deeper into the shoulders, then you can lift your forearms and elbows and then even tent your fingertips. Forehead is down, shoulders are back. Breathing deeply. is getting deeper into the hips when the knees are apart. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. We're going to come back up onto hands and knees. Take the knees a little bit closer together so they're parallel. Curl the toes under. We'll take three breaths here. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck and round. So do this as if it's the first time you've ever done it. Feel every inch of the way in the spine as you flow with your breath. One last time, inhaling and exhaling. 
coming to neutral spine. Right foot is back, toes are down. Left hand reaches forward by your ear, but then drop it down a little bit. Belly is drawn in strong as you lift your right foot about an inch or two off the floor. Notice the strength that you can feel in your core. And that's not just the belly, that's including the back and the sides. Draw it all in and up, stay aware. Allowing your breath to flow with ease, even though the body is working hard to balance here. Stay engaged, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, left hand comes down, right toes come down. Pivot your left foot to the left. Roll to the arch of your right foot, reaching the right foot flat. Right hand reaches up. Press both hips and pelvis forward a little bit. Again, if you need to modify, you can come down onto a block on your left forearm. If you want to go a little deeper, you can lift your right leg. Or you can come into side plank by stacking your feet or left ankle over the right. Keep the hips nice and high. Hips press forward a bit. Belly is drawn in. Keep that breath flowing, inhaling and exhaling. One more full breath in, and then as you exhale, come on down. This time we're gonna bring the knees to touch. Your hips are sinking down onto your heels, and your hands are gonna be on the floor behind you. Your forehead is down. Sway left to right here. So you're massaging your forehead on the floor. Releasing the neck. If you would like to get a little bit deeper here, you can lift up your hips and roll a little bit higher up on the head. And you can come down, you can make circles, whatever you'd like to do, just don't pass the middle of the head. Just kind of rolling out the head here. Little circles along the forehead, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the back of the neck. So take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then slowly make your way up onto hands and knees. And we're gonna step the right foot forward up between your hands. So you can use blocks if you have them on your hands, on under your hands, not on your hands. <laughs> we're gonna scoot the left knee pretty far back so that the hips can drop way down. So the hips are dropping heavy, but the right knee is not passing the right ankle. This is getting deep into your hip flexor. We're gonna get a little deeper, this is psoas. If you wanna get a little deeper into this muscle, we're gonna come up and place your hands on the top of your right leg, right above the knee. Sink low in the hips, pull the shoulders down, open up through the chest here. And just breathe. Beautiful, take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, hands come down to frame that front foot. We're gonna curl the toes under now and lift that left knee. So now the left knee is lifted, getting a little bit stronger here in the legs. If you would like to go deeper, you can come up onto fingertips or let your arms hang down or let your fingertips reach back behind you or interlace your hands behind you. Strong breath here. Belly is not resting on your thigh. Pull it in and up. Super strong legs here. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. 
And then as you exhale, both hands come down to the inside of your right foot. Drop the left knee, relax the left foot. Turn your right foot to two o'clock and then roll to the pinky side. You're just opening up your right hip a little bit here. You can stay on your hands. You can come down onto forearms. We're just gonna sway left to right. Relax the head and neck. Be able to breathe deeply here. Take one more full breath in. And then as you exhale, we're going to take your hips and work them back. Your right toes are going to face forward and your right uh, toes are going to lift. So now you're down on your right heel. You can have your hands on the inside of your right leg, framing your front leg. You can be up having your hands on your hips or your hands can be down or on block. So it's up to you. We're just Engaging the hamstring here. Pressing down with your heel, pulling back with your right hip. Toes are up towards the ceiling. Getting a lot of heat here in the hamstring. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're just going to drag the right foot all the way back. The knee comes down, left foot comes forward. Moving your right knee back, your hips are sinking way down. Hands are framing your front foot. Just pause here. We're getting super deep into that right hip flexor. You can stay right here, or if you'd like to get a little bit deeper, your hands can come up onto the top of your left leg, right above the knee, and really sink down with your right hip. Relax the shoulders, you can look forward. This is a tough muscle to get into. This is really deep into that psoas. Take one more full breath in, and then as you exhale, hands will come down. You're going to curl your right toes under, lift the right knee, strong in that right thigh. You're in a low lunge, so we're not coming up into a high lunge, we're staying low, but you can decide if you want to go a little deeper. So maybe your hands lift off the floor. Maybe they reach back behind you. Maybe you interlace and pull back to get a little bit deeper in the shoulders. Think about your inner thighs coming towards each other. You're really working the muscles and the bones around your joints, your hips, your knees. Super important to have those be nice and strong. This is also your core because we're down. Chest is down. Take a full breath in. And then exhale, come on down, both hands to the inside of your front foot. Drop your right knee, relax the top of your right foot so your right toes are going straight back. Turn your left toes to 10 o'clock, roll to the pinky side. Sway left to right. You can come down onto forearms if you'd like. Depending on how, how tight you're feeling here. Gentle sway left to right. Keep your breath flowing deeply. Take a full deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're going to walk the hands back, turn your left toes forward and then up. So here, hands can be on the inside of your front leg and knee can be softly bent. So that's pretty modified. 
If you want to go a little deeper, you can let your left hand go on the left side of your leg, so you're framing it. If you need to come up a little higher, you can come up and just let your hands be on your hips. Or you're down on your hands or on blocks, but you're pressing your left heel down and you're pulling your left heel back. Relax the neck, engaging the hamstring. Take a full deep breath in and a full deep breath out. We're going to slide that left foot back, but just about halfway back, so it's on the floor. And now you're going to step your right foot next to your left foot. So you're standing with your feet about a fist width apart, knees are bent. Head is hanging down. We're going to get a little bit deeper into the shoulders and upper back by stepping on your hands. So you're going to place your feet right onto your palms. Your toes are at your wrist crease. Knees can be bent. You're going to pull up. So you're pulling up with the back. Let the head hang heavy. Let the neck sway left to right. This is getting a really deep release in your shoulders and your upper back. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. And then we're going to release here. Hands down. Bring one foot back, drop the knee. Other foot back, drop the knee. Send both feet over to the right. Come down onto your left hip. And we're going to send the feet around to the front. <clears throat> so your feet are down about hip width apart, knees are bent, hands are going to come behind you, but your wrists, your toes, your fingers, that's like when I call my dog all my kids' names, and my kids my dog name. Okay, your fingers are pointed towards your seat. Okay, phase one, elbows are soft, lift the chest, peel your shoulders back, lift your chin. Three breaths, so full breath in, full breath out. Maybe you soften on the exhale. Inhale, go deep. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale, here, soften. Okay, you can do that again, or we're gonna get a little bit deeper as you inhale, we're going to lift the seat. So you're lifting your seat, inhaling, lifting the chest, and then when you exhale, you can soften just a little bit. Inhale, lift, shoulders open wide. Exhale, soften just a little bit. Inhale, lift. And exhale, soften all the way down. Okay, come forward, give your wrists a little break, shake them out a little bit. <clears throat> From here, your hands are going to come underneath your knees and you're going to hinge back. So you're hinging back here, your belly is in strong. We're going to lift one foot. And then we're going to lift the other foot. We're going to take one hand off. We're going to take the other hand off. If you can't, don't worry. 
We're going to take with your right hand diagonally up and back to the right. Left hand diagonally up and back to the left. Pause here and breathe. Inhale, lift the chest a little higher. Exhale, relax a little bit. Inhale, chest lifts a little higher. Exhale, let it lower down just a little bit. Stomach is shaking, that's okay. One more time, inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, hug it all in. And we're gonna make our way down onto your back with hugging your knees into your chest. So hug the knees in, rock left to right. <clears throat> Circles with the knees. We're going to come into happy baby or modified. So knees are going to go wide. Feet are going to lift up. You can hold on under the knees or at the ankles or at the outsides of your feet. Let the shoulders come way down away from the ears. Let your low back press down into the mat, tilting your pelvis forward a little bit. Letting go of any last bit of tightness or tension in the hips. Feel free to rock left to right. <clears throat> Take one more full breath in, and then as you exhale, slowly drop the feet down to the floor. Knees are bent. Feet are going to be mat width apart. Arms reach out to the sides, shoulder height. Full breath in. As you exhale, legs go right, head turns left. Inhale, legs come back up. Exhale, legs go left, head turns right. And then continue for a few more breaths, up and over. Head turns the opposite direction as the knees. Let the knees pull away from your low back to stretch out the low back, creating space. Let your last time be on the left. So once your legs have gone over to the left, use your next inhale to come back to center. And then you could just come right into Shavasana. You can keep your feet mat width apart and let your knees touch. You can let the legs go straight. <clears throat> So just pausing here for a moment, letting your breath return to normal, but still aware of your inhale and your exhale for a moment. The eyes are closed. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. Let there be space between your top teeth and your bottom teeth. Relax the neck and throat. The shoulders melt down. Let 
your back feel supported by the ground beneath you. Feel the space around your heart and lungs. Let that feel light. Try to feel settled and calm in the belly. Grounding down through the hips. Letting go of any last bit of tightness or tension around the low back, hips and legs. Let your arms and legs be an extension of the torso, supported by the floor, relaxed hands and fingers, the breath flows in through the nose and out of the mouth. Noticing any chatter or conversation in the mind. If there is a thought that comes up that causes you to feel something that you don't want to feel, Change your thought. Just tell your mind we're not thinking that way right now. And just change the thought. The ability to change our thoughts and feelings and be in control of our thoughts and feelings is powerful. Slowly let the back of the head roll left to right. Start to breathe a little bit deeper. Remove the hands and feet. And then take your time to move the body in any way that feels good for you to transition slowly and gently out of Shavasana. And we'll all meet together seated just when you're ready. It's no rush. Just take a moment to sit with your practice with your eyes closed. Let's take the right hand over your heart, the left hand over your right hand. And just take a moment to bring to your mind who or what you are deeply thankful for. It's really easy right now to feel 
badly about all the things that we're missing out on because of the pandemic during this holiday. But just pause and take this as an opportunity to feel gratitude and feel thankful for what you do have. Gratitude and appreciation, feeling thankful, those are super powerful feelings. So if you want to feel those feelings, what thoughts do you need to have? Remember that we are all connected. Not only are we here with each other, but we're here for each other. Let's bring the palms together in front of your heart center to honor your practice and honor each other. Namaste.